Hello everyone, Crystal14 here again with another tutorial. Uh, this of course is using my Ion Kind of Wars map, which you can find information on my YouTube page, videos for, and also you can find the map on StarCraft 2 Maps, sc2mapster.com. Uh, if the latest version that includes uh, information from this tutorial is not up there yet, please check back later as it will be soon enough. So coming back up with you with another tutorial, um, actually a couple, but this is going to be the first one I'm going to do right now. Uh, hopefully it won't take too long. And this is for uh, uh, basically a, a, a triggered, uh, a, not a triggered, a data ran ability that orders another target to attack or to do another ability. Uh, I did this for my Ion Cannon here in Ion Cannon Wars and I pretty much spent a lot of the, way too long figuring this out so I figured I'd share it with all of you. And of course you could probably approach this a, a couple of different ways depending on your knowledge of uh, the editor and all, so I'll let you mess around with it, but I'm going to go ahead and show you what I've done, and you can play around with it and do as you will. Mm. Excuse me. So first I have a new ability here that I made called Fire Ion Cannon. I put a prefix of Ghost on it, on the editor. It's an effect target ability, so that's the type it is. And this is what goes on my Ghost, is the ability to actually uh, aim and fire my Ion Cannon only the ghost can do it, otherwise there's no other way to fire. So, uh, the first thing he ha he has, we have here, is basically an effect target, just like anything else. I've set it up to be channeled, so he actually is going to channel it, i.e. I that while he's casting it, he can't do nothing else until it's finished. Uh, given it, basically, a, just a basic uh, icon right now. I haven't really gotten the buttons for, uh, set up yet. Target filters, uh, basically what you want to be able to target. So enemies, allies, etc. Whatever you want to be able to target. Uninterruptibles channel, basically means that, uh, hey, I, I, I want this to be uninterruptible. The channeling, in other words, no matter what you do, you can't stop it. So once it starts, you, you gotta wait till it's finished or he's dead. And to validate, I want him to approach and cast and prepare. Bit, very, very similar to the, uh, the actual, uh, uh, firing the nuke ghost ability. Very similar. Cost, right now, for testing reasons, all he does is have a, uh, a, a has a 15 second, a little 15 second cooldown, and it takes 10 energy. Okay? So that's the basics. Uh, for our effects here, I have something called, an effect called Ghost Fire Iron Cannon. We'll get to that in just a second. Total finish time for the channel ability is 8 seconds. And the range is 12, so he has a range of a uh, casting range of 12 maximum for the ability. So pretty straightforward. The real, real juicy part, of course, is the effect. And again, this is where things can switch up. So we'll switch over to effects here. Again, just go down to effects, and we will find our little ability here. You can see, I have quite a few, but we'll start with effect. So this is an apply behavior effect, as you can see here and apply a behavior effect called Fire Ion Cannon, and we have as a, a suffix of, uh, of effect. And it's basically going to apply this Ghost Fire Ion Cannon target effect onto the actual target, whatever we're targeting. It's strange, it's weird, but trust me, it works. And Which I know seems kind of weird, but uh, just go with me for right now. So. Basically, we're setting up, we want to put this ability, or this behavior, called Ghost Fire Nan tar Ion Cannon Target, onto whoever we have our ghost putting the targeting on, uh, with structure building, whatever he's using to mark the target for the Ion Cannon, basically. So, let's switch over to behaviors, and we will find our Ghost Fire Ion Cannon Target ability here. So this is just a standard little buff, and this is actually kind of the core of the uh, ability. There's quite a few he things to go through here, so I'll try to go through as quickly as possible. It has a negative alignment, uh, buff flags that is channeled, countdown, and remove exhausting damage response. Not sure what that means, but pretty much just channeled. Categories, is t I've set it as temporary because it is a temporary buff. Modification is set to nothing. It doesn't do anything. so. Make sure that's all clear. Behavior player target. Very important that you set it that way. If you don't, you're going to find 
that if you put it to like a unit or or whatever or source or whatever, it's actually going to change the the owner uh, slash color of the target. <laughs> it's kind of a cute little uh, cute little thing I found. Uh, maybe you guys who are interested in mind control and stuff like that might want to play around with that. It's kind of interesting. Com uh, combat damage response. We want it to be zero, nothing. Make sure all these are cleared up. Cost, no cost. Keep that all cleared up. Uh, and then we finally go into the actual different effects. We'll get to that in a second. Duration should be 10 seconds. Of course, we have about 8 seconds long. We want the actual this actual buff effect to be a total of 10 seconds long. We want it to be hidden. Very important. We don't want to see it. We have a period effect that happens at 8 seconds. And only once. We only want it to happen once. And that's actually going to be the firing of the ion cannon. And this is what gives us the impression of it being channeled. It gives it the opportunity to still be, you know, the ghost to still be killed, or anything like that. And then finally, uh, global time scale also very important. So, with that in mind, let's take a look here. At the eight, uh, we have three different effects that happens. We have a periodic effect, which is what happens at the eight-second mark, and that's when the actual ion cannon fires. That's the actual. Uh, 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 effect that makes the ion cannon fire. That's what we're going to focus on. It's the actual order, sending the order to the ion cannon to fire at this target, the player's ion cannon. Uh, expire effect is when the actual uh, effect finishes its full duration. So it does the entire 10 seconds. It's going to fire this effect, and basically what this is going to do is actually remove this behavior off this uh, off the unit if it's still alive. And then finally, after it's removed. This is actually going to send an order to the ion cannon to stop firing. So it only fires once. If you wanted to continue firing, then you wouldn't have to worry about this. In my case, I only wanted to fire at the target once, not continually. So this is kind of the core of the thing. A lot to take in, I know, but it uh, it does work. So we're going to start with the, the fire, fire ion cannon uh, effect attack, because it's the big one, and it's the one that you're mostly interested in. So let's uh, get to the cat here. This is actually a search area. Weird. Stay with me. Search area. Fire iron cannon. Uh, effect. It's going to acquire. No validators. In fact, we can actually just remove that. Search area is 360 with a 500 radius, the entire map. And the effect we want is ghost fire ion cannon fire effect. Okay. Search filters should be ally player. So basically ally players, only player allies. I know this sounds weird, this looks weird, but it will actually search for the the person who cast the the buff onto there. It's going to search for their ion cannon. Uh, if you wanted to search for other specific stuff, you could set that up here. Of course, you have all the different options as well. You can even have uh, uh, make an effect that has uh, enemies fire at each other. Whatever. Impact location should be target unit. Launch location should be source unit. Markers fine. So the big one we need to look at is ghost fire iron cannon fire effect. This is the actual order. It actually issues the order to the ion cannon to attack. So the first thing we do is we have the ability, we want it to order. <coughs> In this case, it's Iron Cannon Attack Hidden, which is basically just a standard attack uh, attack command. It's a self-made attack command uh, that I'll show you here in a minute. And it's basically put onto the unit, but it's not put onto its command card, so it can't be issued directly. We want to queue the command. We have a little valid validator here to double check that, hey, the unit we're picking and we're sending this order to, is it really an ion cannon? Which is basically a planetary fortress. If it's not, then forget it. If it is, then go ahead. And the target should be source unit. This basically says, okay, target, this is the, tar this is the unit that gets the, uh, this is where things get confusing. Unit unit is the unit that receives the order. So, receives this attack order, basically. Target is the unit that's going that it's being targeted at. So, just a clarification: I'm sending an order to uh, to our ion cannon to attack, and uh, the target I'm using is source unit. 
This is where it gets weird, but trust me. It has to do with the search search area thing. Anything that gets returned on search area is going to return as target. So you have to put target here. And this is why I had to do this roundabout way to get this to work completely properly. And target is the source unit, the actual unit that, uh, that did the search area. So basically our unit that we targeted initially. And this will make the ion cannon actually fire at that unit. Kind of confusing. Uh, trust me, I screwed around with this so much, way too much yesterday. And this is the best way to get it to work. We are just about out of time for part one. Please stay tuned for part two as we continue on going through this. I will show more how this works, and then I'll actually show it in action and try to explain it a little more out, which you can do. So please, stay tuned.